ATO Mobility today. Um, if I keep looking down there, it's because I've got it written down and I need to keep looking at it. We're going to start with a scorpion and you've got, got to hold it for a minute on each side. Um, so we have done these in classes before, but to remind you, it's lying on the floor, arm out stretched to the side, hand in line with your shoulder, palm flat on the floor. Use your other hand to push yourself across. And I'll show you the other side. So my hand's flat on that side. This side I'm using this hand, bend the leg, push myself across. If you can get your foot to touch the floor at the other side, that's a really good stretch. You should feel it in your lower back and in your pec here as well. Once you've done that, we're going to do what's called a rainbow stretch. So you need to sit um, with your back flat against the wall, legs in a V-shape. Then I'm going to take one arm, you're going to keep it against the wall as best you can. I struggle a little bit with this one. Um, and you're going to bend this to the side. Hold it for a minute on each side. Um, we're then going to do the lap stretch, which we have done um, in other videos. So you're going to stand against the wall again, hand behind your head, elbow on the wall. And you're going to just lean into that stretch. Same on both sides, a minute on each side. Um, we're then going to do the hip opener. So for this, down into a nice lunge position. Use your elbow on the inside of your leg and push that knee out to the side. So let that back hip sink down. Keep your foot flat on the floor and just push that knee out to the side and you're going to hold that for two minutes on each side this time. Um, this next one is a shoulder rotation stretch. So, um, you're going to lie on the floor um, and you're going to move your legs away from the arm that's outstretched. Put the arm at a right angle and then you Wait, hang on actually. Keep up with that one. It's this way, sorry. So, knees towards the arm that's bent. Take hold of that hand with the other hand. And what you're going to do is use this hand to push against the hand, to try and push it down to the floor, and use this hand to resist against it. And press and release for a minute. And the idea is that you want to. If you've got good mobility, you should be able to get that hand flat on the floor. So after each release, move down a little bit, press again, release. Do that for a minute on each side. And the final one is a knight to hamstring stretch. So the knight stretch is this one, we, we, we did it on a box last week. But just on the floor, stretching forwards. Again, open that hip up. Then going to move from that into the hamstring stretch. I want you to hold each for a minute. So a minute in the nine stretch into a minute of hamstring stretch on both sides. And that is it.